Hi guys, welcome back to Factorio. Um, just to let you know, this is the where I left off last time. Uh, this has been an hour and a half of pretty much just wall building. Uh, so I figured that's a good time to resume again. So I've also tried to make them three thick this time. By the way, yeah, like like that's how long it takes. It's a long game. But yeah, it's all around. They We got walls everywhere and we're just about to complete it. I figured this is a good place to leave us off. Or, or not leave us off, but you know, whatever. Oops, I, did I fuck that up? I totally did fuck that up. All right, let's just delete that for a sec. I Like my mouse slipped, sorry. Fat fingered it or something. There we go. Do that. So yeah, they're, um, Oh, and yeah, so like I started to, by the way, I started to make, uh, I started to ghost this out. I was going to just kind of run around the base and uh, kind of manage that. But I ended up not doing that because uh, we're actually, um, this is all the walls I have left. It's probably enough, uh, especially considering the fact if I delete these turrets, which I'm go you're going to see me do actually. Uh, we're going to do it because I got to do some like stuff, I guess, for, for content reasons. Um well, like, like, it's just like we've been far enough in the in the thing now. By the way, evolution factor is now uh, 0.73, so pretty good off. So we got a couple things we're gonna do. So the wall has now kind of been completed, except for the little stain that's like in the corner here. But that's okay. Well, like I, I like I, I haven't actually made it into a full thing. We'll do that again later because yeah also yeah I, i've been picking up the robots this whole time because my solar power simply isn't enough like as you can see my my night vision is even going because the batteries just have never had the chance to recharge uh let's get these guys the wall is done we are now defended against hostile threats so very nice so now we have this stone patch here Oh, yeah, I've been also cutting some trees with these guys. Oh, there you go. The night vision came on again for some reason. I don't know why. Or maybe it was on this whole time. Who even knows? All right. So we're going to spend just a little bit of time doing probably a couple things you've seen before. But uh, I can explain some of the stuff I've done in the meantime. Uh, why is this guy not running? I, I thought he was running. Anyways, um, so the oil kind of comes in down here. And speaking of down there, I should actually go down there and uh, so, uh, I should actually go down there and make sure that uh, um, I remove all the, the useless turrets now. So we now have a very large area to work with now. Um, ba basically, we're done. Um, we're done setting up for the game. Now we can actually play the game. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, that's not how it works. It's like uh, it's it's yeah. It's it's whatever. It's, it's pretty good. Apparently, the, we're gonna have to make some more coal. So I may make more miners and stuff on on screen, just because it's I've been listen. I've been I, I've been doing like shit tons of like management for um, miners and making sure like that we don't lose. So you know what? I've earned the right to do this and ruin my own videos. Alright. Huh. I guess we are gonna have to do it like this. Oh, oops. Alright, that's pretty good. There you go. I got the rest of it. I can just, uh, well, actually, we can kind of just do something like here. Actually, I forgot some, I forgot something, a very important detail. So this is still bringing in crude oil. Let's just bring these guys in. I forgot to make the radar dishes at the very edge. Because, um, I'll also show you how the map looks. Because we've had, like, it's been like an hour and a half of basically purely scanning for random trash on the map. And, uh, I mean, I honestly, I think I kind of knew. Because I remember it gives you, like, a giant map preview. So you kind of know what's going to be on the outskirts. But, um, no oil. No oil. So, um, and the... The yield was 2,000 last episode, uh, now it's down to 1,800. It's going to continue to deteriorate. Um, 
we don't want it to become a problem because our flamethrower turrets run off of it. Um, but that's also another problem, which is the fact that our entire flamethrower network here runs off of crude oil, which is not a bad thing. It just doesn't, it's not a good thing either. So what we might end up doing is we might actually, actually end up switching that now to uh, light fuel, uh, light oil. Because, uh, I mean, we have lots of light oil, so that's not really the problem. So yeah, we're probably going to switch that up to light oil. Um, and then once that's done, yeah, uh, then we don't have to worry about much else. Um, and then, yeah, we got this stone to tap into, which we will do soon. We got this copper ore to tap into, which we will do now. I figure we'll just spend a, a, a minute, like, just, uh, deleting stuff. Uh, oh yeah, so for research, I actually ended up doing, um, uh, I ended up doing cargo upgrade for bots, because I thought that to myself, hey, maybe they'll upgrade, um, how much they carry the worker bots. Uh, no. Uh, they only carry more repair packs. It's the only thing that changes with the, with the bots. They pretty much are stuck at this speed. Uh, and I can't even get, I can't even go for the next upgrade because that requires, uh, see, this is cargo size. So I already did the first one and it just, it, it, even though it says construction bots can carry more, they only carry, uh, apparently not, not things to build with. So, uh, that was a waste of time. Uh, but yeah, worker speed requires production science packs, which we'll be going for soonish. Uh, pretty much we want to go for nuclear power. Um, there's really nothing else in the blue science district, like there's breaking force of trains. Uh, that just allows them to stay at higher speeds for faster, for longer. It doesn't change their top speed. It just means that like, they, they are faster in, in their own way. It's, it's strange. So, as I said, we can get rid of all these turret things. Oh yeah, our, um, our iron line is basically right, done. Yeah, right there. That's done. This is just finishing. So this means that we're going to have to make a new row of furnaces, um, which we I think we need anyways, honestly. But um, we got some things to do before that, so. Um, we also might want to make, so because of the fact I plugged in so many more miners, and we have all these um, lasers all over the place, we may actually want to get more steam engines out. Because you can actually see, like, it, it does spike up to full, and that's when we basically... Um, that's kind of a problem for us because we don't want it to spike up like that to full necessarily. I feel like I could make this so much in such a better layout or something, but I, I don't know. I'm lazy. All right. What the fuck? I, I took damage from my own car. Fuck. What a rude car. Also, this is very difficult to see because of the foliage on the ground. Also, there, there's some there's some fucking rich forests here. I have to say, like super rich forests. All right, here's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna have a large electric pole right here. I'm gonna stay away from the tracks. Cause um, the, the trains are particularly lethal right now. I haven't died to them yet, but I assume at some point during this run I will. All right, we're gonna just do this. What possibly could be dying? Uh, they're coming from over there. Oh, it's this base now. So, the angle which I thought that they would never come from, they're actually coming from, so. Uh, Ripperonis, me Aronis. That's okay. Alright, we need to do this right now, though. Alright, so where am I going to bring it to? So, we kind of need the... It probably would be better if I worked backwards, actually, because it's uh, easier to do that. Fuck you too, bot. Um, unfortunately, there's just such a mess of uh, iron here already that... Or, the, the, this is not iron, but like, yeah, whatever. Such a mess of things here right now that just gotta work it out, I guess. Need some more iron plates. So, like, iron is only a problem because we don't have enough furnaces making this stuff, and I figured, yeah, I'll just save it for when, you know... I'll just save it for when we actually resume here, right? Uh, so, and now we're resuming, so. All right, here's what we do. We're gonna play a splitter. Oh, this is, by the way, this is the most am amazing thing. So you can you can put, uh, uh, this is what I did actually over here, is I put a I put an input priority for the mine I wanna uh, bring out, so it always takes it from the left side instead. Unfortunately, it's not actually going as, f as quickly through this coal as I would like it to. 
weirdly enough. Like this, this, this side never moves. And it's just, literally just for the furnaces, but I think the furnaces just aren't going enough, you know. It's kind of an uh, odd problem to have. Anyways, we're going to work back. Uh, shit. Well, whatever. Guess we're going to just put more, plaster some more steam engines onto the end here. How many do we have running right now? 120. Which you would think would be enough, but apparently it's maybe not. Well, let's see how our pollution cloud is doing. So, for the most part, we're, uh, I'm just going to remove the turret coverage because that also makes it red. So, for the most part, they're not in the pollution cloud anymore, which is good. Um, we're like Hong Kong here. Uh, so, we got to... We got we got to keep we got to keep the riffraff out of our city. All right, that's not bad. All right. Oh yeah, I have an abundance of wood with me right now. I'll get rid of that soon. So I'm just mining up this because this will save me a little bit of time from having to make uh, some stupid uh, extra outpost. Um, which I mean, it's inevitable. We're gonna have to do that. But this will at least this is a band aid fix to the problem. Because, I, I mean, it's down there. I might as well. Let me remove that. So, we need to start tapping into stone. Um, and we need to upgrade our blue science capacity uh, pretty much right now. Uh, before that, I'll, uh, I'll make some more steam engines. I'll make maybe make, like, um, I don't know, a couple more. I haven't quite decided how many more I need. Um, actually, we can't do blue science yet because we need to actually t tap into more of the... Um, uh, we need to tap into more of the iron because uh, like this one just isn't running at all and already uh, before be already as it was before I was basically thinking to myself damn. I need some more things for that I'm just gonna have those repair the bots will do it um, So steam engines we will just make a couple uh, Just making sure these get repaired, okay yeah, we got walls and copper with us for days. So this line that you see that I'm eating off of, that actually needs to be like completely saturated full of iron. That, that's actually what the problem is right now for me. Oh, now we need gears. So uh, if we get if we get one more thing going of this stuff, it'll be it'll be good then. Uh, we need one more. I could just go right take it from right here. All right, that's the last one. How many miners do I have? 16. Okay, so that's not so bad. Uh, we don't need to mine anything else additionally right now. And so as you can see, the the this is now making its way slowly over here. Of course, this is also already almost tapped out as well. But I don't think we actually do need that much copper. I, I kind of said when we did it, I, I, said, I kind of regretted it and said, like, I don't think we need any more than what we just did. But, you know, I don't know, it's whatever. Maybe maybe 10 is too little. It's also going to make some weird numbers here. Oh. I, I know I just keep plastering them onto the back here, but, you know, forgive me, whatever. Because I, I really don't like actually making steam engines. And like this layout as it is is actually kind of awful. So I acknowledge that, but you know, it's whatever. All right. So now that that's done, we're going to now plug into another additional one there. So as you can see, everything's having its own little problems, but it's whatever. So I think the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, take out the raw wood. I'm just going to put into the car. And we're also not going to carry walls around with me anymore. Because the minute I pass by the wall... Uh, it's gonna want to offload everything, so we're just gonna get rid of the wood. Oh, okay, that scared the shit out of me. I'm like, is there a biter, like, some for some reason here? I don't know. Alright, so we need another choo-choo train. Choo-choo, motherfucker. Where's the trains? Not a combat thing. Well, though, you can't have the death trains. We have established, uh, through, through the many streams I've done here, that the best way of getting rid of excess wood is, uh, through the use of death trains. And you have the death train circle the wall, killing biters. And, uh, 
Anyone who talks shit about the death trains will be the first one subjected to the death train. You will be you will be test for it. Okay, and a few more of these. All right, so that's good. And just carry, get a bunch of resources. So all right, so there's gonna be a couple things we're gonna do here. Um, first one is we're gonna blueprint this guy. Okay, that's good. Uh, next, I'm gonna make a bunch of furnaces. Because we need furnaces for this little venture. Looks like this guy has stopped, but it's because he's not gotten any more resources, I think. Alright, he's, he's done He's done with stone? What? What, what? what happened here? You're not getting more strong? Oh, because this, this chest is full of concrete now. Oh, neat. Alright, we're, we're not going to really do much more with that. And yeah, I realize that there's this little thing here. I decided that we didn't need any, anything else here. Probably need even more concrete than that, but uh, this is good for now for our base. Um, all right, so we got that. Uh, what else do do we need? Oh yeah, we need more steel for this. So this kind of plays into once again uh, the amount of resources that we need here. Uh, it's just like constantly in need of resources. All right. Almost done with this. And I think two more. Yeah, two more. And then that, that's it for steel furnaces. We're done with that. So where to put it is a very, very, very good question. Because uh, I'm not entirely sure myself on that matter. Uh, let me just make sure I have enough. I need red chips. No, I don't. But we will take a little bit of everything else. Okay. So, uh, luckily, uh, making furnace layouts isn't as painful as it was before, because uh, now we have now we have uh, the ability for bots to do most of the heavy lifting for us. Uh, so that's a good sign. All right, let's just run into that real quick. So what we're actually going to do is I'm uh, no, I don't really want to make it over here. But then again. There's these steam and no, we're gonna put it somewhere else. Uh, let's see here. That's that's my. Uh, this is this is how I was making the walls, by the way. So we're gonna just delete that. Uh, that's my layout for chips. I used it earlier off screen because I had done that stuff before. Okay, maybe we'll do like this. All right, yeah, we'll do this. All right. I don't mind if it's in here. It's okay. Let's deal with uh, this is uh, how it's coming in. We're gonna just we're just letting the bots do their thing, and then we you now copy the stop as well. While we're at it, we'll uh, make a blueprint of this as well. Ah, uh, it just occurred to me. That there was a good reason why I didn't put it on this side. It's because the station is actually here. Huh. Interesting developments. Okay. I actually can't do this the way I thought I would. Alright. Alright, that, that, that one's fine. That's just the fueling up. All right, so ever, everything for the station actually has to be on one side. So I originally did this in a way where uh, it wouldn't actually do that, and that was a mistake. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I did not realize I needed to do that. Okay. Fuck. Fuck it, just put it on the other side. Oh my god, I have so many of these. You know what, fuck it. No, what? I still have more. What the 
Fuck, I have like a bazillion barrels of this shit. Fuck. All right, so we're gonna have to figure out a better way of... Where's a red inserter? I, I don't want this garbage with me, so we're gonna do that. Uh, yeah, we've mistakes were made. Um, all right, so this is where the barrels come out to. And what, actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. Because it can leave until here. That's where the barrels come from, and they go into the box. The box has so many things. Uh, it has a huge chest of the stuff, so. Uh, maybe we could like make a in th something to basically keep it always up to date, but I don't know. Fuck it. All right. So then we have this inserter that puts that into into there, and then there you go. Okay. Okay. It looks. It would appear like this machine did not work. That's okay. Just do this. There you go. Now, now we got rid of all that crap. All right. Uh, and also, this is not powered, so that's not good. We're gonna have to do something like that. Oh boy! Look at this <coughs> fucking disaster. <sighs> all right. Is there? Um, did I make a blueprint of this? This is the stop. Uh, yeah, there we go. This is probably what. Was, what was, actually, I can just make it with this. So we just do something like that. Alright. Mm. Ah, there you go. Ta-da, new stop. Actually, I could have encompassed this as a part of it, but yeah. So we're missing a lot of things, and actually we're not even making red belts right now, which is a huge issue. Because we've been yellow belting literally everything. So, this is our new stop. What are you still missing? Uh, three more filter inserters. How many do I have loading the trains? Four. Okay, that's good. Alright, what are we missing now? Uh, I'm, st I'm still making the last thing. Uh, it would appear we run out of uh, regular inserters at times, and also don't have one of these. But uh, it's it's almost done. It's almost done. So uh, eventually, we're gonna have to just name it the same thing, uh, and we're gonna put two more. Tr we're gonna put two more trains on the line that essentially do uh, very similar things as well. All right, let's go over here for a sec. I'm gonna have it always make a bunch of these things. Holy shit. It has like a shit ton of stuff in here. Alright, so this is where the next stop is for this garbage. And taking it away is actually not that hard. Because we just kind of bring it up and up. In a way. A little bit disorganized in, in its own right. Um, and I don't blame you for seeing that. But it actually does work. Uh, it works actually extremely well. I've done this sort of layout in many of my factories before. Right, we need more iron plates. Oh, you guys didn't finish here? What the fuck? What do I pay you for? And nah, I don't pay them anything. That's the secret. Bots work for free. Yeah, once again, like... Oh, wait, did... Does this one have better luck with saturating line? No. No, just no luck at all. Do we need... What do we need here? Okay, we're gonna need some more... Fast transport belts. And we're gonna have to go get more inserters from up here. So, this is us making a second stop. So, once we get that going, then we gotta figure out where the hell to plug in everything. Uh, cause that's gonna be a huge issue. So I'm gonna take all the inserters I can from there. Do we need belts? Yeah, we do. Might as well. I'll just, I'll just keep remaking them. I guess we'll also take uh, some pipe to grounds. Probably not all of these though. We'll just uh, we just want to stack a 50 with us at all times. Uh, we don't need any more assembly machines. We're good on that. Okay. Let's just pop plop down over here. Bots are incredibly happy that they get to do whatever they want. 
Yeah, luckily we can just plug in the uh, the coal over here because I'm lazy, so we'll just do that. I don't think I don't think this will have any detrimental effect, to be honest. Um, but you know, whatever. If it does, then it does. This will bring in the coal uh, to feed these machines. Uh, we can also actually they are powered, so that's fine. All right, so the thing we need to do now is figure out how to get these guys out. Get them the heck out of Dodge. It's actually not that bad. It's not actually that difficult, as you can see. It just works. So actually right now, it's I'm perfectly content with having them go into the same place now. And now, with that being said, we can make some more trains. Um, now there is this, the matter of the, the, the undercarriage here. Uh, so I'm gonna actually set this to something retarded like wood. Um, th we're gonna put things in there obviously at some point. Uh, there is a reason why, uh, there's obviously a reason why I just did that. and Because I, 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 I just realized that it's probably not exactly equally putting these things in. So now we need to put these trains going. All right. Uh, we give it all the fuel we can. Is that seriously all the fuel I have? Well, that's not cool. Okay, and we're gonna copy the two trains. So yeah, that has what it needs and that has what it needs. All right, so you start by going to iron one. So as you can see, they're now the chain signals are stopped because there is no free station for them to go to. There's not even a pass through. They are stuck there until I say until it frees up. But but there's two there's a lot of free shit coming in, so that's nice. Alright, so we're gonna give this train a little bit more fuel because we don't want it to go fuels hungry. We're also gonna have to make some more stations here. Hopefully that's the right way, I can't actually tell. Okay, let's uh, copy this shit over. And as you can see, it's so easy just to plug in this stuff, man. It's like an advertisement, I'm like, like Factorio, buy it today. All right. Why the fuck is it? Okay, it was just having a little bit of problems. So it's gonna come up here, it's gonna receive what it needs to. So now we have an additional place with this stuff. And as soon as it's done, it's gonna now peace out. And that's another uh, line that of, uh, uh, we have, we now have a second, we now have another line of, um, of trains coming in. And we have another line of iron as well. Uh, what was I just about to go up and do? Okay, well, first off, first off, the important stuff is we need to actually put this guy coming up I don't know I, I was gonna go up and do something uh, somewhere else but now I don't remember so now we're not gonna really concern ourselves with that oh god the past is real actually it doesn't need to even be here this actually doesn't matter because it's uh, this one's going to the very back one, right? Um, why did I even have this plugged in? Suddenly, entire factory without power. Yeah, I would never make such an amateur mistake. All right. So now that this guy's done, we're gonna do this. So we no longer need to get anything from up here, so let's just, because this, we've mined this out, this is completely done. So let's just get all our uh, belts back and miners back, because you never know when we might need them again. Well, probably soon, but you know. <laughs> oh, you may need them again. Alright, so now that this is plugging into here, alright, we can now say, hey, do that. And we're gonna say input priority on the right. So it's gonna, oh no, maybe left. Uh, so it's it's like my left kind of a deal. So it's gonna prioritize emptying out these ones before emptying out the train essentially, uh, which is probably not the best 
idea, I guess, because it, it will make uneven train uh, outputs, but whatever, fuck it, I don't care. I've made bigger mistakes in my life. Alright. Uh, let's see. And then... Uh, now we figure out how the heck to do any of this. Um, so I'm saying, I'm going to say that we're going to simplify this because I have this weird system here. So let's say, so there's two, Actually, I don't even know, why did I do any of this? Here's the thing, there's only one line. It doesn't even need to be red. There was a time there was a time that there was, that made sense, but now it doesn't make sense. Cause just clean it up, you know? Clean up your mess. Alright, that's number one. Clean up your mess. Alright, so Oh, because I made red belts over here, that's why. Because I, th I, th I think I thought they were kind of getting there slowly, maybe. That clearly is not the case anymore. There you go. Because it's, it's really not going to go any faster than this, because they're, they're limited by the fact they are yellow belts. So... It, speeding it up won't really do much. Alright, apparently unplugging that doesn't really seem to matter either. All right, so here we have this. Uh, now it's a good debate of what to do with this. So the best thing for me to do actually would be to plug it into this line. So these gears uh, will just run off of their own iron line now because gears are just so required in this game for me. Um, huh. Huh. Alright, maybe, maybe we can do something like this, actually. Alright. So... I'm gonna tell it that the output priority is on the right. I'd prefer it giving it to the main bus. And all the excess goes to the gears. And maybe input priority for this one is right. Yeah, so this one's always going as well. So all all excellent ideas. Uh, dude, uh, priority belts, man. That stuff's so nice. So now we have uh, we've just kind of increased our resources yet again. Like this one line is now just kind of functioning completely off of uh, just for gears, uh, which is which is actually a necessity, believe it or not. And this this doesn't appear to work at all. It's actually the saddest thing I've ever seen. I mean, this sort of works, but then it kind of backs out, so it's whatever. All right. Um, yeah, this this place has seen better days as well. Um, we should probably go fix that. So with that, uh, we're gonna let mining productivity finish. Actually, no, we're we're not gonna go over there yet. The they will have to wait. Uh, well, first off, I think I actually need more train yards, but actually, if it if it backs up, it's only it's only iron right now, so it's actually not an issue. So we we actually don't care. Uh, I I like the amount of red chips. You see, that's like such a beautiful amount. All right, so we're gonna just take these rails with us. Uh, give it whatever stone I have. I would like to give it some more steel, though. I don't want to feed it steel forever like this. This is it's stupid to do this, but I'm doing it anyway, so whatever. All right. Uh, so first things first. Uh, oh yeah. So I, I I forgot to mention. So these turrets and stuff. I've actually I actually put a pump here, and the pump is putting everything back. It's forcing all the oil in these. Like remember when it, how I said like the pumps um, actually have. Oh, sorry, the, the pipes actually have oil in them. They, they count as storage sort of a thing. They have like a hundred or something. Uh, yeah, so what I did was I decided to reverse it so we're not wasting any... Because when I destroy the, the item that carries fluids, 
I destroy all the fluids in them. So I kind of have been doing a little bit here and there, uh, and it's not a good habit to get into because it's a waste. Uh, but then I decided that for the main base, because I had one line kind of feeding all the turrets in the base, I decided to reverse it. So now actually when I'm destroying these, um, I'm actually not really destroying that many uh, in terms of like resources. So is there a reason why I made an extra one here? I'm pretty sure it's not the ratio for electric engines. So it needs a one electric engine per second, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I think I did it so I could just grab it off the line anytime I wanted. Um, I still might actually do, actually I know why I did that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move, you see this uh, shitty place I'm putting the, the turrets? We're gonna move it actually pretty soon. We're gonna move it over here. All right. I actually like the amount that we can see. We have very good vision around this area. But like I said, we've come to the harsh reality and conclusion that uh, we're gonna have to do coal liquefaction. So uh, I, I think I said it right that time actually. So let's just uh, finish destroying all these things. It's it's so nice. This is what I want to get. This is the main thing I want to get on camera here. Is I want to I want to show. The progression we've made, the the defenses that we've that we were that we had, they served us well, but we no longer need them. So, it also would appear to me that um, we're we're mainly limited by yeah okay mining productivity is done, so we don't have to worry about that. So now the miners are I don't know how much more productive. I'll look at it in a second. Uh, okay, so let me take a very big gander if there's anything that's really important that I should do right now. Power armor, no. Because we, we would need to get blue chips, and blue chips is something we're going to do extremely soon, but uh, I kind of want to head for um, production science, though. we got to set up a system for that. Um, just debating it. Uh, I mean, I, I still have laser turret shooting speed, which is very... Uh, I, honestly, it's probably not that bad of an idea to get now. Uh, but actually, now we're starting a nuclear power. No, 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 actually no, because I don't have enough blue science set up. Actually, let me eat some of the blue science by starting it, starting nuclear power, and then we'll do laser turret shooting speed. I just, I wanted to just start eating through it. Because I'm a dick. No. no. I'm a normal person, I swear. What, night vision works? It's a Christmas miracle. I mean, it, it, I think it helps on the video, honestly, a little bit. I don't know. I, I record these, like, I'm, like, five ahead of everyone else, so that's just the way I roll. Just checking on my coal, because the coal is, uh, if that starts to run out, then we're in deep doo-doo. Okay, still good. So we can actually just, we can actually just destroy all of it. There's even some like going up through there, it's ridiculous. But this is this is how intricate this uh whoops shit. How intricate this this fucking piping network was. Rest in pieces. You served us extremely well. You made us live through not having a wall. Now we have a wall, now we don't need you. So nuclear power is the next stage of power generation, so. Uh, the things that generate the most pollution is power generation facilities and some other stuff. Um, basically, yeah. Uh, for us doing this, this actually helps out a tremendous amount. So by doing this, uh, this is, by the way, 4,000 science threes. So this is not something we could just rush. We couldn't just say, oh, we got blue science up, let's do it. No, we needed to secure our iron. We need to make sure we have enough copper. We have enough copper for now, believe me. Um, it will at least get us up there. It, it'll it'll do its job. So we it's just all this stuff kind of needed to happen uh, before before we decide to go for it. Because honestly, it would just take immeasurably longer. And it's already going to take a long time. And that, so that's the point of it. So nuclear power is sort of um, the end game uh, power supply. And it's green. It actually is very good at um, being like a very nice power supply. Uh, this guy's done. So 
So, as you can see, this copper is also running out. So, we may actually have to go after that copper much sooner than I expected. This was, this was, as I said, this is one of my starting ones. So, I actually just kind of ate right through that. So, I mean, the one to go for would be that one. Um, as I said, I, I may make an episode in itself, because I can't just skip every single thing I do. A large part of this game is securing additional copper resources. But I figure we can double the, the whoops. We can double this right now. For your money back. Alright, how many pipes do we need? So... Make one engine unit per second, you need two pipes, and I think the pipe, the way the pipes work is that you make two pipes? No, you don't. Okay, then uh, then we're going to have to have another system up there somewhere doing the same thing. Luckily, we can just do this. This is very lucky for us. This is the main thing we have to double up. And... Yeah, this guy too. How many? I, I saw a lot of these these wood electric bowls. I, I don't see any problem with just using them up, you know. All right. Uh, where where is this thing getting its iron from? Oh, I got it from like over here. Well, I mean, I can just kind of grab it for this line, anyways. The thing I need to do is I need to make something to make some uh, belts for me, because uh, I need to start stockpiling uh, red belts. I may actually do that this episode, but we're getting near the end, so I really shouldn't. Uh, I may record one more t today, then. I was, I was hoping just to kind of leave it off on something, but yeah, the game's a addiction. What can I say? Yeah, there's always one more thing for, for me to do. Alright. Where's the blue? Order. There. And we might do some quality of life things as well. Okay. Uh, let's see. How does it normally come off? Okay, it just comes off. Okay, this is how we handle that. This is how we're gonna double that. And now we need to think of some better system for for this guy. Um, I, I, to be honest, I haven't quite thought it through for how to get the, like there's already a limited to the amount, the amount of gears that are coming down this line too. It's so dumb. I guess we just need more. I guess I shouldn't. I guess I shouldn't set an output priority. I think it should just be both. Actually, this one should be uh, output priority to the left, and I should output priority this one to the left, maybe to save more gears. You know. Holy schmolies. Because like eventually the gears will stop, right? Look at that. Look at that. one row furnaces does one row of gears all like working at a hundred percent. That's so dumb. But like like I said, the way the iron works in this kind of game, it's like if you starve something of it, then something else will starve. Like for now, like for now, like, oh, it's got enough iron here, but it's not getting enough gears. Oh, shoot, kind of thing. But then when you do something like what I just did, you know, you're gonna have you're gonna find like, oh, it doesn't matter because it's just like something else is gonna then gonna be the issue and then something else again and it's just uh it's never ending, you know. Remember what I said. Uh, factory the quest for more iron now the thing I didn't quite take into account is I don't know how I'm going to get this over here uh cause yeah uh, I think it's cause this thing was never meant to be here honestly I can actually guarantee you that I think I, I put that in, in, that in in the end and it's for the flamethrower turret cause like I said, like they, it uses basically all of those materials, and I actually I don't really like it being on that side. That's the thing. Technically, it only needs the five, but you know what? Well, we'll just we'll just deal with it. So we need to add an additional uh, guy for this. 
So I have to think about this now. We're probably going to just move this entire production up here then. That's just what I'll do. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but yeah, that's uh, sometimes the way it goes. Uh, now I gotta consider, yeah, I'll just kind of build it like here. So I'm not sure what kinds of materials we need for this, but it's whatever, I guess. Oh, I actually don't have any green chips, huh? So it needs green chips and also gears, uh, so. What, seriously? There's some reason why it was going up there? It's to power those. Of course it is. All right. Uh, red chips don't need to be up there. We just need to bring up the gears now. In my awkward little fashion of uh, what I was doing here. So it needs to be two of them. That's just kind of the way this goes. Um, and we kind of have to do that. All right. Hmm. Just wondering how why, how I did certain things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, actually, this is fine. This is perfect. Now, you're wondering why I'm underground, and bel underground belting this stuff. Trust me, it's uh, for next time. Next time, next time, I'll actually do utilize what what I was doing with this. I'm actually kind of excited for that one. It's gonna be good. Uh, oh no, that's the wrong thing. Fuck. No, it's you've contaminated the line. It's ruined forever. Fuck. Actually, wait. Fuck. Not contaminated at all. Saved. All right. Uh, where is this thing? There you go. Now we can do that. All right. Now they're coming through here. We give them a bunch of. I don't. I don't know how many of these it needs. I'm hoping it just only needs this many because it. Remember, they now carry two, so uh, that may make a difference. Or more than likely will not. Well, let's just see how this goes. All right. Uh, I mean, it, this definitely could fit somewhere here. I don't know. We could have the extra one. But yeah, you can see, like, actually, you know what? Let's, let's just forget it. Just get this done with. Hmm. Uh, okay, so I, I, I kind of see a little issue here. All right, let's just let's just remove you. Fuck you. You're worthless. Um, all right, so we're gonna do something like. Yeah, that's what I thought. I have to eat this off the line because I need to actually have it come, kind of through here. <laughs> Not belt spaghetti yet. I mean, it's kind of what was needed for this anyways. There you go. And now we have two of these machines doing this, and unfortunately, they're not all making it to the end for the iron. Um, yeah. We're going to have to figure out what the deal with that is. It's probably the fact that... Uh, Oh, does this need gears? No, no, it's just coal. Okay. Sorry, I just saw the long arm inserters and then flipped out. Alright. So, that is kind of working, actually. It just occurred to me I didn't actually bring it over here. Oh, fuck. Shit. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. All right, we gotta do something better for this. Oh, fuck, dude. 
Why are they so slow? And also, why do we never get gears? Or sorry, uh, whatever the thing is. Kind of debate. Okay, you know what? I, I have an idea here. Uh, this is an awful idea. Nah, it's actually fine. It's the same way I do the. I, it's the same way I do some of the other stuff. Oh my god. Uh. Actually, this may actually work. I may have to just do this. There you go. Now, now, now it doesn't actually take anything it's not supposed to. Because the, the pipes will never go into this uh, belt. This is literally fucking awful, though. The things you do for blue science. And I don't even know if this is going to be something I fix later. That's the worst part about this. Because <laughs> it kind of just worked out as it is right now. All right, so we have that. We need to bring more engineers to the other side. Actually, I kind of did it the other way with this before. Oops. Why aren't you allowed to replace these? Apparently I have to, I can't just overwrite them. It's probably to prevent you from doing something retarded if I, if I know this game. All right, and we go over here. I know that didn't quite work out. There you go. Some, somewhere to put the engine units. Uh, let, me, let me use some of these crappy S things. Okay, there we go. Now that's doubling our science production. We're gonna go back, switch back over to turret shooting speed, just because. And yeah, we're gonna have to, I am gonna have to prioritize this line. Gears aren't as actually as important. Oh, what? Oh, there's nothing on this line. What's the... Uh-oh. We have our first issue. I was wondering why they didn't come out. Okay, so that is a scenario that's what I like to call a fucking disaster. Uh, because that happened outside the base. Uh, that simply cannot happen. So basically, too many trains are moving at once, but I don't know where the problem is with that. Alright, so this guy can't go here. Oh, I think I know where it is. See, this th this train was occupying this line, and it counted as, like, the same thing. Oh, uh, it's so bad, actually, when that happens. Okay, there you go. So that was the issue. You see the colors? Like that, that's like, I know these two are yellow, it's confusing. Oh man, that was almost really bad. And I actually came over here with walls. Fuck. Alright, so... That's why we stopped getting iron. <laughs> that's why we stopped. At least uh, the copper's um, not being used. So that's nice. You have to check out the copper. Well, now these guys have to fill up. That's, that's the thing, because we, since we had buffer chests, it was actually, we didn't see the problem until just now. Uh, but like I said, luckily the this base does not run off of uh, iron. If the iron doesn't come in, then it's not like a big deal. But, I mean, it then now became noticeable, because now there's no iron. So the minute the trains stop, everything stops. So that's not great. Did, did this actually fill up? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, this has now gotten worse as well. We're gonna have to go fix that as well, but not before I do some other stuff here. So, uh, blue science, so that science is now good. Uh, obviously there's a bit of a copper issue here. Um, but there's actually really nothing we can do about that. Yeah, because this is now, this is going through as fast as possible. So, I mean, the only thing to do for copper is to get an additional copper ore mine. That's, a, that's all we can do. That's all we can do. So, anyways, I'm going to let this uh, kick back in. Um, and uh, I, guess I'll f I guess I'll complete the wall. Um, 
And uh, I'm trying to debate what else to do. I'll do some repairing here off screen and then we may go for that copper mine. And uh, yeah, I'll probably just kind of get there and I'll, uh, I'll resume kind of thing because I have to clear out all these nests. A lot of nests to clear out. So, uh, toodaloo. See ya.